You had that singing at the end there. <laughs> That's what she said. Greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. And I'm the captain. We're here. You should be too. Whew. We're with Gretch. Gretch. Great they Gretch great alive. drums. Do they? Well, they did originally. I didn't did, know. That. Did you know that the um, that was why Leo Fender had to uh, the very very first prior to the Telecaster, uh, he called the Broadcaster, and he was required to withdraw that name because the Gretsch Drum Company had a drum kit called the Broadcaster. That's why it became the No Caster for a bit because he's like, I don't know what to call it, so we'll just make it with nothing on it. And then he came up with the Telecaster. Good golly, it's almost like he didn't have Google with a thesaurus at his fingertips. <laughs> yes, he should have just wikipedia it, shouldn't he? Endless words, you know, words that are a bit like broadcast. That's what he should have done. That's what I'd have done. Silly Leo Fender. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, so, yes, probably best known for guitars, but, but also a, a very uh, famous drum manufacturer as well. Gretsch. I'm not even sure, actually, now I'm, I'm babbling on, but I'm not even sure that ownership of Gretsch drums and Gretsch guitars are in the same company anymore, but... Whatever. Huh. These are Gretsch guitars. These are not Gretsch drum kits, in case you were wondering. And this is called a Projet. Why do you think they called it a Projet? Because Mr. it's C? a professional guitar for professional um, jet flying pilots who need a sonic experience equivalent to the freedom of flying an airplane. Yeah, I may have made that last bit up as well. I think it's just a jet, or maybe even a true jet. Maybe I might a pro have made jet my bit up as well. Do you think so? <laughs> yeah. So we possibly made the, the bits up. But it's definitely a jet. Might not be a, the pro jet might be the dearer ones, but it's definitely a jet. Um, and when I was at the NAMM show in January this year with my crew, um, <laughs> I do that thing with your fingers where they try like a special thing, because that's what you do. Anyway, with my crew, um, one of the coolest guitars that I thought we saw on the Gretsch stand, that was it, that was the uh, Live Long and Prosper, mm -hmm. um, was this new single cut jet with the V-shaped bridge, uh, and or tailpiece rather, and... It does look a bit like someone karate chopped a Les Paul, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that Les Paul! <laughs> 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 and um, anyway, they do a really beautiful Japanese made kind of flame top version of this, which I thought was stunning. And we, we got quite excited about that. And then we kind of moved down the, to the, the sort of the more affordable stuff, the electromatic stuff. And so they'd done like, a, like an electromatic version of it as well, which is this, which is the 5220, the G5220. Oh, I have no idea how they do their naming conventions in Gretsch. Everything is a like a 60-something or a 50-something. 54, 30, 63, 96, 496,243 and a half. Five. Not quite so popular, that model. Um, but yes, it's a G5220. Comes in this awesome colour that Rob is holding. Is it like a dark red? I'm going to say it's burgundy. Burgundy, like Ron Burgundy. <clears throat> Talking of numbers, mm. did you know that in America they have Pi Day? Uh, as no. in 3.14. Oh, not as in apple pie? No, no, Actual... it's, it's pie day because the date is the same as the, the number of pie. And uh, so that everyone oh, has... be March 14th then or something? Yeah. 3.14. Yeah. And they all have pie. That's it. Isn't that great? Is that just another one of these, like, do you think... It, it, the, the Someone in the pie own, shop. No, people that own card companies oh, yeah. just have to sit there and invent a day for yeah. everything, don't they? Why don't guitar companies do that? What, Fender Day or Gretsch Day? Or what? just Guitar Day? I think day? I've just realised... Yes. The Happy... Chapman has an idea, and we should do it. We should do a guitar day. It should be National Guitar Day on, like, what's your birthday? Uh, actually, this week, March 22nd. Right. Well, mine's June 14th. What's, what's in between those two dates? Exactly in between uh, them? May, no, J April the 36th. You're very good at maths. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, Whatever that date is, that should be International Guitar Day. You're welcome, be. guitar community. <laughs> <laughs> you should buy yourself a guitar on that date. Or and just you should a card post it to celebrate. No, no, things. a guitar, cheap or expensive. And you should post an image on my Facebook page and say, "Thank you, Rob Chapman, for introducing the world to International Guitar Day." Well, anyway, so I'm sorry I'm reading this off of my phone here because I'm I'm slightly less experienced with this. But these are 
Broadtron loaded. Broadtron, a bit like the rather excellent uh, crime drama Broadchurch. And a bit like the excellent um, Disney movie Tron. Exactly. If Broadchurch and Tron did a collab <laughs> thing where somebody from the future came and was murdered on by a frisbee by, by, <laughs> on a, on a cliffside <laughs> thing in Devon or wherever Broadchurch was, or Cornwall or something, uh, yeah, that would be Broadtron. Um, this is one of those reviews. It's one of those reviews. It's an end of day. Uh, so here we go. Play. I'm gonna get. Got the kind of crazy Gretsch, slightly over the top uh, volume and tone controls. So you've got a volume for this pickup, a volume for this pickup, an overall tone, and then a master volume, as if there just weren't enough volumes. I don't know why they even need a master tone. I would just have a second volume for each pickup as well. So I'd have, I'd have an, a spare volume uh, for just to override these two, and then a, and then a fourth the volume, this one. So, sure. oh yes, I wasn't sure, it's this one. That's nice. I like it though. I'm, I'm, I like guitars that Muffled. are just uh, got their own thing. I don't like it when guitars are just blatantly the same as a different guitar. I kind of, I like. Definitely not the same as a Lester Paul. It definitely isn't the same as a Lester Paul. It's way more unique. Not like the PRS Silver Sky, which is just straight up with a PRS Body, so it's quite a bit lighter than a, than a regular Les Paul. Um, <laughs> lovely sort of natural back, solid finish top. As Rob said, burgundy on his, black on mine, and then there's a beautiful gold one as well, which will appear on screen by the magic of editing. Right, so shall I so, do some tones, Lee? Yeah, I mean, it, I, I like, don't you think it's a little bit like the sound of the 50s? You know, that's... The sound uh, of the 50s? Yeah, with it. Did they play that stuff in the 50s? I don't sure. Know. I like it. I like the big inlays. I like the big block inlays. I'm guessing it's an ebony fretboard. It's super, super dark, kind of close grain. So I think it's ebony. Um, I like the... And I like the price. It's like... It's going to blow your mind. Well, it might not. Well, it might do. I reckon it's like 699. Wow. That's so close, and oh, yet so far. They're about 400 pounds. I am, I am mild, mild, mildly, mildly, mild, mildly, mildly overwhelmed. <laughs> I like the way that the pickups work with gain, because they do that kind of interesting harmonic overdrive me. thing. Yeah, it's, yes. yeah. That's, right. That's the kind of thing that I'm not normally into, uh, but it is something that I, I do enjoy. You can, you can do melodic violin-like melodies with the right pedal. This pedal, for example, is the Tumnus by Wampler because I'm a big fan of child slaving goat men. <laughs> Can we just get one close up of me doing this whilst you do a violin note? <laughs>
man. It's good. Sounds really good. It's a mustard tone. Mustard tone. <laughs> I know, I really like it. I mean, I'm loving this little Friedman amp that we got going today. But well, the more pink taco I get in my life, the better I think it is. Oh, it, yeah, I keep thinking it's a runt, but it's not. It's a pink taco, isn't it? It sounds great, man. Really good. Well, I mean... You know who else loves tacos? Pete Rabir. Carlos Santana. Carlos Santana is Yeah, a recently big taco I heard fan. a real secret about Carlos. Did you? That we, we probably shouldn't... We know what the secret is, but we shouldn't talk about it. This video is probably going to come out after that video. Oh, though. it is. So it's okay. okay to talk about that secret. Anyway. I heard he's got a new signature guitar from a, from a, com a company. Hey, la capitan. Great to hear from you, gringo. That kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? You have a, have a note and you just... That, that's cool. I'm liking it. Right, let's jam out. Uh, it is the end of uh, a long day for us here of jet lagged tomfoolery. Uh, it's quarter to five, Rob. So, uh, hey, we're on overtime, strictly speaking. We are on overtime let's do right it. everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.